Hello, my massive YouTube following. How are you doing? Hope you're well. Thanks for watching, obviously. Um, what I've realized in these videos before I get into this is like sometimes I ramble on a bit and like I'm not too, all you see is me in this chair. Literally all you see is me in this chair, not the screen, you're not seeing any like fancy places I'm going. I don't know saying I'm going to fancy places, but not like these meetings and all that stuff you're just kind of seeing. Maybe you're seeing how boring it is to really run your own business from basically a home now because of COVID and stuff. But mate, this is what it's like and I'm not gonna try and honestly I, I I hardly edit the videos, they just get me filming, they can put up, right? So that's that. But hopefully, you find them useful. First truth bomb I'm gonna come out with you today, so it's Friday, it's the 30th of October, it's payday, which is great for businesses. And one of the main things I need to get to, across to you right now is, your business is not as important as you think it is, okay? I know that might blow your mind, or it might just make you think, nah, fuck you, of course it is. But what I'm, trying to, what I'm getting at is, most people think that they communicate enough with the customer. They're like, well, I did an Insta story on Tuesday about a deal I can't do an Insta story on Friday is too much. Or oh, I said this yesterday, I can't say it again today. Do you know how many ads people see per day? Do you know how many different messages people get a day? If you think that your customer or target customer remembers what you have tweeted or posted or emailed yesterday, you're in for a rude awakening because it's not, they don't have it, they don't care. They just don't remember, there's so many shit coming at us every day as humans. For you to think that your message is so important that they're gonna remember everything you send is just beyond, like, you're just deluded. So stop with that nonsense. You need to get, you, to, to cut through and get your message across, you need to be frequent. You have to be in, you have to be showing up on the Instagrams or feeds, you have to be on the stories, you've got to be sending emails, you've got to be running ads, you've got to be doing video ads, you've got to be doing image ads, you've got to be doing, you've got to cover all angles. And it's not to mean you have to spread yourself thin, like whatever you're at, you need to be at. You know, reminding people, hey, it's payday. Sometimes all you've got to do is remind people, hey, it's payday. Remember us? You thought about buying a week ago and you had no cash, how about now? Some people are like, need convincing, and maybe a bit to convince any they're in your world, but actually, what have you got? I, I can't be asked to browse your site. What, what have you got for me to buy? That's when you hit them with a the product, kind of, here's our product, here's why it's awesome, here's pictures of it. Then you sell payday, 20% off. Oh, it's like more branding. Why buy from us a payday, 20% off, the 2020 money short? Well, hey, let's support independent businesses this year. Let's not give money to Amazon. Amazon have expanded so much in the last 12 months, and this since, especially since COVID, most of Amazon's products are people buying shit from Alibaba, AliExpress, Chinese, shipping them directly from AliExpress to Amazon warehouses and straight to you. There's, it's just literally some guys on the computer just doing this fulfillment stuff, fulfillment by Amazon. There's no like brand story, there's no value in it, but someone might have actually decided they want to do something a bit different, they want to do something more artsy, more creative, using sustainable methods of creating it with a better manufacturing process, and actually, yeah, it does cost more money because it, it just does and maybe look at supporting them as opposed to going fast and cheap all the time. Fast and cheap is never gonna be sustainable for us on this planet. Different story, different day. That's my ramble on for today. So what's today's video gonna be about? What can you hopefully learn today? Well, I'm gonna go over some payday ads and how I run them, uh, and especially why I do them in specific messaging and all that stuff. And we're back. It's been a long day, guys. I've just been to the gym, and I was on the way back listening to the Alex Jones, Joe Rogan uh, podcast, and all my days, I was fucking pissing myself through the streets. Look, it's Friday, it's 4 p.m. I should have done more by this video, but I've been flat out, but this is where you bring the 80s in, you know? Okay. So here we go. So let me just do a brief update. So today, pay what you want is going live. It's doing really well. We're on about seven, eight hundred quid revenue today. Um, so let's have a look at today's stats. So leg workout lead, 79, 31 pence a lead, still good. This one is 31 pence a lead, but two sales with a ROAS of what? 1.36, great. So I'm getting paid to get to have emails, awesome. Payday retargeting so far, two sales, but ROAS is low, so that's not the best. Um, but still, and these two have just gone live, so interests, 
payday ad, but I'm doing a story, like I mentioned in episode one. If I'm showing an ad to someone that doesn't know about the brand, then why would they give a shit about an offer of 20% off? So let me just show you what this ad looks like. And I'm just testing with layering, without layering. I'll explain that in another video. Okay, so never heard of us? Probably not. Here's what we, here's what we, we are about. A rugby clothing brand that blends leisure, casual and performance wear. Looking for new tees to train and chill in? We got you the best fit in fabric too. The brand started in 2015 in a small town in Wales with the vision of providing better, modernised clothing to represent the sport we love. Remember the word we. We love the sport. This is our sport we love. Whether that does tees, joggers, rain jackets, jumpers, etc. We remain small and independent with the sole focus of making the best clothing for the rugby market. While other brands are large and owned by parent companies, we're keeping this brand close to its roots. We got called silly all the time from expanding to other sports or making the brand generic to open up the customer base. This brand will always be by rugby, for rugby. And what's more, once you're the customer, you get a direct say in product design and future development too. We all Zooms, chats and feedback sessions on design and sketches, quite cool. Anyway, enough for now. Oh, and by the way, we're running a payday sale this weekend. Take 20% off everything by using the code payday20. I wrote that ad in about five, ten minutes, just off the whim. I mean, it's not gonna, it might not perform amazingly well, but just a quick test to run. The story ones and interest, and then we got the retargeting, which is I'm doing it retargeting with impressions and retargeting with conversions. So, to be clear, when you do Facebook ads, um, you can do a conversion-based campaign, or you can do you know a reach-based campaign or a traffic-based campaign. This campaign impression. So the reason why you want to do conversion is you convert for a lead or convert for a sale. So obviously you want Facebook to find the people who are likely to convert into a sale or into a lead, obviously. So that conversion is, conver this is a retargeting ad aimed at people who are going to convert into a sale. However, if you know your audience is um, warm, so for example, this audience here, email list, purchased email, so that's all my emails without people have bought, this is the email list people have bought, this is website traffic for people who haven't bought, these are people who clicked on the email in the last 14 days but didn't buy, these are people who opened the email in the last 14 days didn't buy, here are suppressed emails, or unsubscribes and here are the pay what you want audience. All of these are warm leads, they know about the brand. Is there really a need for me to tell Facebook to look for the only ones that are willing to convert into a sale? Why don't I want to show these ads to all of the people on these lists? Because obviously all of them are in my target market, they're interested in the brand. So all of these people will get targeted with the impression base. I want to show the ad to as many people as possible, as many impressions as possible in a given time. Usually I'd go for daily unique reach. So show this ad to one person, unique person every day. Um, it used to let you show like three people, show it to one person three times a day, but they've changed it. But now obviously payday, weekend and Sunday, so I don't have time to do the daily unique reach. I want as many of these people to see the ad as many times as possible. Make sense? But what I'm gonna show you, I did a I did a test ad, seven pound complete bundle instead of pay what you want, two purchases, 14 quid a purchase, didn't really work out. It's not really working out. Let me just show you this month. So this month, when we go down to pay what you want, what is it? Pay what you want. 1,334 purchases. Um, spent 274 purchases actually less than that that's not 100 percent accurate maybe because people have done upsells but so one one three three four so bear with me right you with me okay so pay what you want sales we've got 236 customers just to prove you that this is the back end pay what you want bundle this month 236 people right equals 890 revenue Cost of the ads is 1,334. So it cost me 444 pounds this month so far. But that's given me 236 customers. So for the price of one pound 80 per customer, I've been able to get not just an email, but someone who's willing to put their credit card details on my website and buy something. Very much down the line. So you've got email, but for people who are willing to put their credit card and buy something off you and join your universe, way more important, way more valuable. So to pay is pay one pound eighty for people who've already bought something from me is very very cheap. That's how you should look at it. But I go further. So when I look at Clavio, I can look at the people who have bought Pay What You Want. Have they then gone on to do a second order? Have they gone on to buy a piece of clothing? Well, actually, out of these two hundred thirty-six people, 
91 of these have made a second order. Right? 91 of them. The average order value of 25 pounds. Total revenue, 2275. So if you were very short-sighted, you'd be like, nah mate, this ad is not working. It's costing us 440, we're losing 444 quid. We're not losing anything. We're gaining. So what we've gained is, is that minus that. So we've gained 1,831 pounds in revenue. So it's caught, you know, we've got that back in the bank account. Might not be all profit, whatever, maybe, but there's a decent amount of margin there. And we've acquired 236 customers and 91 of them have already bought something again. So we've got repeat buyer, 91 repeat buyers, 236 new customers and 1.8K in the bank from the month. It's not a massive amount, obviously you need to scale it, but that's how you need to look at your ads. You can't just be very short-sighted, well, did this ad make me money straight away? That's not the point. You've got to look further, you've got to look back end, you've got to look what you're doing with those new emails and purchases. And if you don't, you're just gonna mess it all up and you're gonna be short-sighted and you're not gonna bigger picture. So that's a tip for you. So yeah, that's the ads we've got running at the moment. So, you know, this month, 3.7K spent. Let's have a look at today, 138. You know that, so leads. Okay, things are, you know, giving it time now. We've got payday coming up. We have, we've got payday now. And we've got another two full days to sell stuff. So things are looking okay. Hello, beautiful boys, not you ugly. Especially you all, man. I know you're watching these videos. You're hanging. Right. Let's go on with it. Today is 4th of July, but I haven't done a video this month because I've been flat out doing Live Like Louise's new challenge, Rugby Warfare, Black Friday plan, new stock coming in, all the stuff. It's just like going back and forth between two businesses is tiring, but I love it. Anyways, I'm going to give you an October update quick. So we had stock for 24 days. Remember, we had one product, t-shirts. Same, different designs, but it's basically one product, performance t-shirt. So 24 days of October, we were active. We did 15K in revenue. We spent 3.7K on ads. So gross after ad spend is 11.2 thousand. We attained 351 new customers and 589 orders and items sold over a thousand items. So that's good news, yeah. Like I said in one of the first videos, I gotta get new customers. I need to get like 1,500 new customers or 1,800 new customers based off the past data to, to sell all the stock. Anyway, let's go on to the leg, the leg workout lead magnet, the one I created, the golden funnel. So looking at the last seven days, it has generated 2,199 emails. That's given me a revenue of £1,082 and the cost of the ads was £490, leaving me with a gross um, gross profit of £592. But if we take away cost of, cost of goods, we're probably looking at about 50 quid, 100 quid. So seven days, 100 quid profit, which is tiny, but it's basically cost me 100 quid to acquire 52 new customers. No, no. I've been given 100 quid and 52 new customers. How f That's fucking awesome, isn't it? That's exactly what we want. Like I said, if you're making profit on the front end, right? If you're making profit on the front end of your of your business, you are in a big business. I mean, like, live like we should make money in the front end, but most businesses make money in the back end. What the fuck does that mean? Front end is like the ads, you know, the, the social media, even getting people in to, to buy. The back end is like, you know, the email flows, the repeat offers, like upsells, cross sells, all that stuff. They're in your universe and you, you bring them in with one main product, and then you sell them the rest. That's where you make your money in the back end, not the front end. So to make money in the front end is fucking, it's awesome. Um, so, but then, then take this, how many of those 52 went on to make a second order? That's the important, that's the back end work. Six people so far. So 10% of people, basically, a bit more than 10%, have gone on to do a second order. And the average order value, 25 quid, say, 150 quid. So there's, that's 200 quid now made off. So I've, had, I've got 2,000 emails, I've made 200 quid profit, and I've got other customers who might turn into repeat customers in the next few months. Gold. But let me tell you the bad news. I've got some bad news. And this is, let, let me just, let me just, oh my God, Facebook. When I said in the first ad, in my first video, it was like, you can't just like skyrocket ad spend. 
on um, <laughs> on Facebook ads. Well, you know what I did? I skyrocketed ad spend on Facebook ads and I fucked them all up. So this is on Live Like Louise now. So we had the Christmas challenges, obviously. Unless, why do I say obviously? You don't know, like. But it's it starts on Monday. It closes on Sunday. And basically, we were spending like 200 quid a day. And I was like, you know, the ads are popping. You know, two pounds per purchase on, um, rep, um, on remarketing. Six pound or 12 quid on, on the front end, cold. And insane. The product's 97 quid. So I was like, God, I haven't got much time. I'm going to have to blitzkrieg it. I'm going to have to go nuts and increase the spend and see what happens and hope to God the Facebook gods work in my favour. Oh, they didn't. Oh, they didn't. I'll tell you what happened. So we were making sales for, like I said, £2.12 per purchase on retargeting, £6.34 on the image ads, £11 on the, um, Chris, on the video ads, £13 on the interest split, so not even people who know about the people of the brand, just like people related to health and fitness. Yesterday, remarketing the cost went from £2 per sale to £29. That's over a fucking, like a 15x increase. The other, the Christmas split ones went from £13 to £59 per purchase. The video ad went from uh, eleven pound per purchase to ninety one quid a purchase, and the Christmas ads went from six pound a purchase to twenty four pound a purchase. That's exactly what you should do to your ads, right? Oh my god, completely fucked up. Um, obviously, I've I've rectified it now. I've, re I've taken the budget back down to what it was. Uh, I've made some new ads at a lower price. So lesson learned, like, but fuck them, fuck these ads. And you go for coffee, like, can't be, can't be selling those numbers any longer. Ah, oh, fuck them. That's what happens when you get um, impatient or you don't plan stuff. You, um, you think it's as easy as just increasing ad spend, don't you? That's what you think. But luckily, I did that test for you, really. I did it to prove a thing, prove a point. I mean, I'll share the screen with you if you want to see the numbers, but, you know, just going to waste your time looking at them again. But yeah, let's, let's recap this. Number one, good, good first month back. 15, 15k revenue, decent profit. Obviously, that doesn't take into consideration business expenses and all that, but that's quite low anyway. Um, ads, on the ads front, scale slowly, 10 to 20% increase in budget every two days every two or three days. If you try and be aggressive, you'll ruin what the, your cost per acquisition is. So even though you want to spend more money and see more people, the more people see your ads, your cost per acquisition gets out of control and it's actually not then profitable for you. So it's pointless. It's like, it's just, it's, it doesn't work. And number three, making money in the front end is very lucky. You are very fortunate if you make money in the front end of a cold audience. It's all about making money in the back end. So get that into your head now. The sooner you get that into your head, the better your business is gonna be. The more, the less you're gonna panic about, oh my God, the ads are costing so much cost per purchase. Okay, but how many of them are turning into repeat customers? And what's the lifetime value of a customer? You need to work your stuff out. I'll do a video on that. But for now, I'm gonna go and see if Donald Trump or Joe Biden's won the election. I'll probably find out today. Fuck it. I'm going.